It's a privilege to be joined on the summit today by the new head coach for Avila, Coach Derek Alexander in his first season with the program. He's been a part of the Avila program before, but congratulations on your new position now, named just last week as the head coach for the Eagles. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you having me on. Well, Coach, listen, I know you've been an assistant coach for a while following a, a career in the NFL, but in recent years you've been an assistant coach with wide receivers, being a part of the passing game, uh, game operations, and more. What does it mean to you now having this opportunity as your first chance as a head coach? Well, it's a big opportunity. I mean, I've, I've obviously been a, a position coach for a while, coaching the wide receivers, a position I played, and I've always wanted to kind of run my own program, just – figuring things out, seeing how, you know, I would want things to run. So now getting my opportunity, um, it's going to be a, a challenge for me, but I think I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm among the places that you've stopped, one of them was right there where you are right now, three seasons as the receivers coach at Avila. Talk about what it means to come back. Not everyone has the opportunity to come back to a place where they've had a previous stop. It means a lot. Uh, when I first came to Avila, uh, our first season, we were 0-11. Uh, and by the time I left, uh, we had the best season in school history. So kind of started building this thing before I left. And, uh, you know, to have a chance to come back after they've still been having some success is a, is a great opportunity for me. We're speaking now with Derek Alexander here on the summit on Midwest sports net. And I encourage you, please like the video, share the video, and please do consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help as we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond uh, coach. You were talking about uh, what it was when you got there before. It's a little bit different now as Avila is coming off a 10 and two season, first ever appearance in the NAIA playoffs as well. You don't have to work about work on rebuilding now you just have to follow this up and keep things going uh, what's what's the difference then and, and how do you look at it from that perspective well that's that's the good part about it is coming in knowing that the team has had some some success a lot of head coaches have to come in and try to turn a program around uh, you know a good opportunity for me to come in to a, a program that's been winning over the last couple of years but now the, the bigger challenge is how do i keep it going so uh, I think, you know, when, when I get out here, I, I got to make sure that the guys understand that we don't want to stop. We don't want the winning and the attitude and everything to change just because we got a new head coach. Things are going to be a little different, obviously, but we want to make sure that these guys understand that we're going to still work hard. We're going to still do the things that need to be done to continue to win. Well, Coach, I, I know that you probably haven't had a lot of time to think about recruiting. I'm sure it's it's on your mind, but having been there uh, on the job for just about a week now. However, the students have come back and, and are there on campus now for the spring semester. Have you had a chance to visit with your team and, and uh, tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I had a, a chance to have a meeting uh, a couple days ago with the team, and they all seem excited. We just started uh, lifting weights uh today or yesterday uh, so getting our off-season uh, weightlifting program going getting that cranked up and um, the guys look look good the guys look excited um, I know a lot of times when there's change you know some guys could be upset and we have had some some guys uh, transfer which you know I wish I could have got here a little bit sooner to see if we can hold those guys but it's fine we want the guys the guys that are here are the guys that we want uh, if they didn't want to stay with us, then they didn't need to be here. So uh, that's how we're looking at it. Uh, those things are out of our control. What we control now is who we bring in, how we get these guys ready and prepared for the season. And, Coach, we we are living in a time of transfer, definitely. <laughs> it's, it's a it's true. era now in, in college football and collegiate sports as a whole. Well, I would ask you this then and as, as we wrap things up there now – Looking to ahead to 2023 in the fall, what should Avila fans expect? What what do they should they look for as they they see a coach Derek Alexander led team take the field? Well, hopefully they they're here for excitement. Um, you know, scoring a lot of points and and playing great defense is and a disciplined team. We're going to come out. We're going to play uh, fast and physical. We're going to be disciplined, and hopefully we we're doing all the little things right that. Uh, helps us win football games. 
All right. Well, Coach Derek Alexander, the new head football coach for Avila and the Eagles, will be following them, of course, into the 2023 season. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate it. We will follow you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it.